Hey peeps, Sarah here from Sparrow Springs and we are working on the last in the series of botanical um, herbs and spices paintings. So today we are working on parsley. So, and I have the wiggly baby with me again. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. Okay, peeps, so this is the last in the series. This is Parsley. So if you are new here and you don't know what is going on, um, I am working on a new collection called Banish Bear Walls, and it is going to be a set of 50, um, at least 50, brand new designs um, for wall decor and digital prints. And my child is trying to grab my microphone. Yay. Um, so this is one of a set of six of herbs and spices. And so today we are working on parsley. And this one, uh, honestly, I think I saved this one for last just because I wasn't as concerned about this one. Um, it has, honestly... I confuse parsley for cilantro when I'm looking at it fresh. So it was a, a very similar leaf pattern to cilantro. There's a very slight difference though. And the thing that was a little bit nicer about parsley is generally the vein patterns are a little darker. So it's not like I'm working with negative space on that one. And the edges of the leaf were a little, a little darker as well. So I kind of got to play a little bit more with uh, just touching pigment in the wet areas and letting it spread and letting it play. So that was good. Um, I kind of, I love the stem patterns on parsley and just kind of playing with the, um, the kind of skinny and almost uh, flexible kind of stem patterns. <laughs> Uh, so I got a little bit of an overlap going on in here and playing more with like the angles on the different leaves and stuff like that. So that's all good. And I, oh man, I botched the lettering good on this one. <laughs> so when I did finally get to the lettering, um, I think again, I was, I was feeling pretty good, feeling pretty confident. And I got through the first four letters and then I got to the L and I made it way too thick. So I, I did end up um, spending some time on that towards the end, uh, lifting pigment out of it a little bit. So like it's not completely gone out of the original, but I should be able to clean it up fairly well in Photoshop so that when I do the set all together that um, you won't notice a thing. So, which, is that cheating? I don't know. but. I think being able to work digitally and fix things digitally is a very nice perk to have. And to be fair, some people who do Photoshop would not know how to fix it. So there's a certain level of skill set there. So if you are looking for perfect originals, this is not the place for that. <laughs> but honestly, I have fun. I have fun with all of this and, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna botch the whole thing just for one tiny little mess up. So that's uh, my philosophy on things anyways. Because um, in the end, when I finally do produce these as digital prints, I want them to be the highest quality you can possibly have um, so that when you get them printed, you don't have any issues with quality showing up if they get printed bigger. So I do take a little bit of liberty to clean them up digitally, which a lot of people do. Um, a lot of people clean up their originals and um, and whatnot in something like Photoshop or some other kind of, uh, digital program. <laughs> so anyways, um, gosh, my child is very, very wiggly today. We had kind of a big day and he just woke up, actually he woke up from his nap in the middle of this painting. So there's a little, a little pause in the middle of the video where I had to go and grab him and whatnot. And I figured since I'm speeding this up, I wouldn't stop the video and I would just keep recording anyways. So thank you, Errol. Thank you for your adorable little intermission. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> anyways. Well, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and let's wrap this one up. All right, peeps. Thanks for watching. Make sure again, if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified when this collection goes live, make sure you get on my email list that is in the description and you will get a 20% discount 
instant the moment it goes live. So good stuff. Get on that. <laughs> That's all for now. I'll see you later, peeps.